In this video, we will unveil one scandalous project the government of the Gambia is trying all means possible to hide from the Gambian people. There is one project costing a huge amount of money given to the Republic of the Gambia as a grant that the government has hidden from the general public. The Gambian government, under the leadership of Adam Abero, have decided to hide this $22.5 million project from the Gambian people. This huge amount of money was meant for a significant project destined to change the lives of the people in the greater Banjul area. Until today there is no sign of this project not to talk of the money involved. So both the project and the huge amount of money have disappeared into thin air, and now the government is trying hard to cover this scam from the Gambian people. It is something simply amazing that would have solved the Gambia's water and electricity crisis at least for the greater Banjul area, if it were to be executed. Let's take a deep dive and see how the money got missing. Currently, our beloved country of the Great Republic of the Gambia is in a treacherous and precarious situation, with lots of grants being given to the Gambia with little to nothing to show for it. These grants are given to the Gambia in the form of life-changing projects with massive benefits for the Gambian people. These projects are so massive that their impact could be felt across the length and breadth of our tiny country. Sadly, when these projects land on Gambian soil, little can be said about their whereabouts, their importance, and the direction they take. Some of these projects get implemented beautifully, with the prime example being the VVIP Lounge at the Banjul International Airport. The VVIP Lounge was implemented beautifully, with the architecture and construction being absolutely amazing. However, there was another project that was granted to the Gambia together with this VVIP Lounge project, which hasn't been implemented nor disclosed by the Gambian government. This project had a whopping sum of $22.5 million. This project was never implemented with the money involved disappearing without a trace. Now the Gambian government has been trying hard to hide this project to make sure the Gambian people don't know anything about it. To make matters worse, the mainstream media don't know about it. But guess what? We will spill the beans. Yes, we will spill the beans because we are African Pacific where we talk about the happenings of our beloved country, the Gambia that are often ignored by mainstream media. So please we humbly ask you to support our work by liking this video and subscribing to the African Pacific YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Now let's go straight to the point and hit the nail on the head. The $22.5 million project we are talking about was the $22.5 million grant that was given to the Gambia to build a water filtration plant at Sanyang for the greater Banjul area. But where did this come from, and who was in charge of this project? This particular water filtration project was granted to the Gambia through the tireless work and great fundraising compatriot in the name of Lamin Sana. This project was negotiated by Lamin Sana, who was appointed by the government to be in charge of the mobilization of funds for the recently hosted OIC summit before he later resigned due to moral issues as he stated. During this fundraising venture, Mr. Lamansana also managed to raise the $22.5 million water filtration project from the Saudi Fund. The Saudi Fund for Development confirmed the disbursement of this fund to the OIC Secretariat in the place of the Gambian government who extended it to the criminal and theft-infested National Water and Electricity Supply Company, NAWEC. The National Water and Electricity Company, known as NAWEC, had signed a 14-month water project grant with the OIC Secretariat in the Gambia, worth about $22.5 million. The contract implementation was set to immediately commence with the detailed engineering design of all components, the drilling of 13 water production and three observatory boreholes in the Combo South settlements of Sanyang, Fala, and Tujarang. But why is a water filtration plant needed in the Greater Banjul area and the entire Gambia by extension? Research and statistics all point towards one thing, which is the fact that the Gambia is going through its worst ever water scarcity and deaths caused by diseases than ever before. Research and statistics all point towards one thing, which is the fact that the Gambia is going through its worst ever water scarcity and deaths caused by diseases than ever before. The figures are just simply alarming and it will leave you speechless before you begin to wonder if there is anyone in control of this crucial sector. Let's take a look at these appalling figures, shall we? For starters, all these water crises stem from the complete failure of NAWEC, the Gambia's water and electricity supply company. From the time of the First Republic to the Second and the Third Republic, this crucial sector is still in a very big mess. 
No one seems to be able to handle it, leaving a greater majority of the Gambian population without safe and adequate drinking water. UNICEF reports that as of 2020, only 60% of the population in the Gambia had access to basic drinking water services. This means that nearly one-third of the population still relies on potentially unsafe water sources for their daily needs. Studies have shown that many water sources in the Gambia, including wells and rivers, are contaminated with pathogens, heavy metals, and agricultural runoff. A 2018 study published in the Journal of Water and Health found that over 70% of sampled water sources in rural areas were contaminated with E. coli, indicating fecal contamination. A study conducted in 2019 by the Journal for Water and Health found that nearly 30% of water samples from public taps and wells in the greater Banjul area were contaminated with fecal coliform bacteria, indicating a high risk of waterborne diseases. As of 2020, only about 60% of households in the greater Banjul area had access to piped water within their premises. This leaves a significant portion of the population relying on public taps, wells, and other less reliable sources as noted by UNICEF. The greater Banjul area experiences frequent water shortages, with residents often facing interruptions in water supply. According to a 2021 survey, over 40% of households reported experiencing water shortages at least once a week as per the World Bank. According to the Gambia Bureau of Statistics, the population of the greater Banjul area has been growing rapidly, leading to an increased demand for water. Between 2010 and 2020, the population grew by over 20%, but the water supply infrastructure has not kept pace, resulting in a significant supply-demand gap. While the population is growing creating more demand, NAWAC on the other side has seen a downward spiral leaving the major supply-demand gap significantly widened. Clearly, NAWEC is nothing to rely upon due to the state-owned company seeing a significant decline each year. Therefore, its only hope was for the $22.5 million water filtration plant to significantly boost supply across the country. This project still ceases to exist just like the five-star Radisson Blue Banjul Hotel, despite the Gambian government receiving funds from the Saudi Fund for Development. To make matters worse, no one has been held accountable including the government itself, and now the government is trying to hide it from the eyes of the public. Since this project was never implemented, more and more innocent souls will continue to die from waterborne diseases, and the government won't care. Waterborne diseases such as diarrhea are a leading cause of illness and death in the Gambia, particularly among children under 5. In 2019, diarrhea caused by unsafe water and poor sanitation accounted for approximately 11% of all child deaths in the country as highlighted by the World Health Organization. This water filtration plant would have gone a long way and it would have prevented the unjustifiable deaths of these children. This is a humble reminder to please like this video and subscribe to the African Pacific YouTube channel. Thank you so much, much appreciated. In conclusion, as limited emphasis is placed on the innocent lives of the Gambian people, more and more people will suffer and die of basic illnesses caused by the lack of something as basic as clean drinking water, something that could have been prevented with just a little bit of care. The Adama Barrow government seems incompetent to instigate even the most basic of tasks that would save the lives of thousands of people. As he remains in power, destruction and death accelerates.